Two people are being recognized for stopping a school bus in Provo after the driver passed out. Yeah, fortunately here, his granddaughter was actually with him. New specialist Alex Cabrera, live for us in Utah County tonight. And Alex, this could have been really bad. That's right, Mike. You know, just hearing that a school bus driver passed out while behind the wheel is terrifying enough. Now, no kids were on that school bus. The driver was actually headed to school to pick kids up to take them home. But when that bus went over a street sign and then through a roundabout, it certainly got plenty of attention. It's a good thing Connor Morris's moped is fast. Hit the throttle on the moped and went up on the curb because he knew he had to catch up to a school bus. I think it kind of scared me because I, I assumed there was children on the bus. That bus was heading to Freedom Preparatory Academy in Provo when Morris noticed it seemingly out of control. At first, he actually ran over a road sign, um, went through the roundabout going pretty slow, and then I saw him pop up on the curb and start heading towards the fence. Inside that bus was Terry Burns, who was slumped over behind the wheel, and his granddaughter, Cameron McCurdy, who was doing whatever she could to get her grandfather's attention. I tried to talk to him, and he didn't respond. McCurdy is a bus aide working with her grandfather. She's just a good, good kid. They were heading to the school to pick kids up this past Wednesday when he had some sort of medical issue while driving. But when I got going down the road, all of a sudden, Things started coming in on me. He blacked out. McCurdy jumped up to take the wheel and was pulling over to some gravel on the side of 800 North when she saw Morris jump off his moped. I opened the door for him and um, he came to help my grandpa. Provo Police Department's chief honored the two with a Citizen Recognition Award for not only helping to save Burns, but to keep that bus from doing any more damage. It says a big honor. Just did it, I think came down to just need to be done. Burns told me he is 82 years old and was thinking about retiring again anyway. After this incident on Wednesday, he says he is pretty sure he is done driving school buses. Mike and Deanie, he's just happy that no one was hurt. Yeah, good thing, and that was uh, quick thinking by both those yeah. young people involved. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Alex.